Hi there, my name is Marcy. Um, uh, Alicia, uh, please forgive me if I haven't pronounced your, your name right. I was speaking with Will earlier. He just um, spelled out the email address, so I didn't actually get the pronouncing of it. But he said that you were the best one to shoot this video for and send it off to. So I'm going to go ahead and get into that. I'm going to keep it brief. What it's about is I'm going to show you three things that you could do today to start bringing in more business to your company. The three things that I'm going to go over are content, backlinks, and citations. Uh, before I forget, I want to point this out though. I noticed when I pulled your site up here that it's not secure and Google is giving preference to secure sites. So you might want to have your, have your person or whoever's handling this maybe get that secured up for you. So content to begin with, what I, when I say content, I mean the information, the words, the pictures, the things that are showing here on your home page. Google likes to see anywhere from 1,000, 1,500 keywords, sometimes up to 2,000 keyword, er, uh, words of content on your first page. See, when somebody br uh, types something into the browser, one of your customers, Google's going to send out the crawlers and they're going to crawl the web and they're going to look for the, the best the best fit for what it is that their searcher is searching for. See, they want to offer the most relevant results because they want to keep people on their search engine. That's how they make money. So you can see if you have one site that has, you know, 50, 100 words of, of content on their homepage and the next site in the same location, in the same, you know, area has 1,500 they're likely to rank, you know, it's one of the strongest features, but it's going to contribute to them being up above them in the search results because they're, they're seen as, um, as an expert by Google. They've got all this information on their homepage about what it is that they do. So anything, all these three things that I'm going to share with you today, if you go ahead and outdo all of your competitors on these um, counts, you're, you're eventually going to outrank them also. You're going to show up higher in the search engines. So that's your content. Now what I did, how I had found you is I went through the map section and, and the keyword that I used today was flooring. So I'm going to go down here into the organic section. We call this or, the organic section. Up top is your paid ads. Here you're going to have your Google map listing. All first pages are set up the same. And then down here, I mean, Home Depot isn't, isn't in the same realm as you, as, um, you know, your competitors here, you and your competitors. So I've taken the top business ranking organically and used him, um, as a comparison here for the backlink, um, explanation. Now what a backlink is, is a, is a link from a third party site coming into your site. The internet's like a big popularity contest. So when other sites vote for you, AKA give you a link back to your site, it in turn moves your site up through the search engines. So I've taken your uh, URL and I've put it into this tool called Airfs and it shows us what's going on behind the scenes. Now in saying that, not all links are created equal. There, it needs to be coming from um, respected sites, sites that are trusted by Google, uh, relevancy uh, to, to what it is that you do. Um, is important, all those types of things. So what it's showing me here is that you have 45 other websites on the internet that are linking back to yours, giving your business 139 backlinks. You're being found for 177 words. And last month, roughly around 28 visitors were brought to your website um, organically. So not through any paid ads or anything. They just, you know, came across it um, by searching. So comparative, comparatively, if I go to that business that was ranking number one for that keyword, you can see that they've got 233 um, referring domains. They're showing for just over a thousand words and they had just under 600 visitors brought to their, to their website. Um, and that's not paid traffic, same thing, like just, just, just by searching up and them coming up in searches. So ultimately, you know, you want to do is you want to optimize your, um, you know, your, your website to be showing up for all, all of the keywords, right? And these are the most powerful things that will contribute to that. And the last thing I'm just going to quickly touch on is citations. Citations are important when it comes to this map section. This map section is a citation anywhere on the internet where you're going to find your business name, address, and phone number listed. That's a citation. So the more citations that you have, it's going to 
help to um, push you up in the rankings of the maps. I put the same search term into this tool, uh, Citation Finder. It gives me the top businesses and all three of those businesses are showing up in the top businesses here. So again, find out uh, who the top dog is and how many citations they have and of course go out and get your business cited on um, more directories, more places on the internet than them. And eventually, once Google, Google discovers that you've got all these places that you are, it's going to help to push your business up. So um, I hope that you found this information useful. I'm going to email this off to you. My contact information will be in the email. If you had any questions, please feel free to reach back out. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and hope you're having a good day.